the fastest way you could leave the rat race, if you're working a job right now, nine to five, and you want to get out, you want to get out of your job and start something for yourself or do something, I'm going to go through the full plan and full guide of exactly what you need to do, how you need to do it, how much money should you have, how much savings should you have? At what point should you look to quit your job and go full-time into your business? We're going to go through the numbers. I'm also going to give you some business ideas and I'm going to give you exactly how you should be executing them. And at what point it's time to quit your job and go full-time. But not only am I going to share all of that, I'm going to tell you the fastest route possible because time is everything. And I think to start off, we want to go over exactly why you should even be looking to quit your job. Exactly why. What are the issues? Because you see, we know we want to leave our jobs. We know we want to do something for ourselves, but we need to think about that more. Because the more you think about that, the more you're going to want to take action. The more you're actually going to take the steps towards doing something for yourself rather than continuously working your job. So imagine yourself, you're 22, 23 years old, and you work your job now for the next 30 years. It takes you up to 52, 53. 30 years, you would have worked your job. And the max you, let's say, you get up to is, 80,000 pounds a year, which by the way, is double the average salary that people earn, double. You won't even be making 5,000 pounds a month. It, it generally won't be 5,000 pounds, pounds a month. That, that is the problem. Now let, let's actually go through exactly how much 80,000 um, pounds a year is take home to you after tax and deductions. It is 4,351 pounds. That's how much you'll be making at the peak of your employment career. So if I'm being completely honest, the solution is never going to be you working a job for 30, 40 years. It doesn't work like that. Now, also, you want to be able to spend time with your family, your children. Uh, you want to be able to take your parents somewhere. You know, one of the main reasons I quit my job and I left my job when I was 25 years old, I worked in recruitment for five years. And after five years, I quit my job. One of the pinnacle moments in my career was when my father... Uh, a scare happened, he went to hospital. We thought it could have been worse than it was. It wasn't as bad as we thought it would be, but I ended up uh, staying in the hospital for a couple of days. Uh, when I say staying, we went back and forth in the hospital a couple of days. I think this really put into perspective how uh, companies unfortunately see you and they see you as just a person. The day you leave, you will be replaced. That's a fact, right? And I remember, you know, day one telling my director, look, I, I'm looking to... Uh, go to the hospital, I'm going to be busy with my dad. And he was like, yeah, no problem, completely understand, you know, take your time, etc, etc. Right. And then uh, two, three days later, he was like, right, listen, when are you coming back to work? And I was like, wow, it really got me thinking, like, could I actually take a month off and spend it with my parents if they were feeling unwell? The honest answer is probably not. The honest answer is I probably couldn't look after my parents for a month if I was working my job because obviously I need to pay the bills. Now, if you're in a situation where you've got kids, you've got a wife, you need to go to work because you pay for the rent and the mortgage and whatever sort of thing, even though you shouldn't have a mortgage, right? But you need to do that. And your mother falls unwell. Imagine this, guys. Your mother falls unwell. She needs you, but you still have to work because you need to pay the bills at home and et cetera, et cetera. What do you do? That is scary. So now taking responsibility for your life is absolutely essential to coming up with the plan of quitting your job and getting out the rat race because that's exactly what it is. It is a rat race, right? You're going to work in the mornings at seven, eight o'clock in the morning. You're coming home at five, six o'clock in the evening, at seven o'clock in the evening. You know, your mother asks you, you know, what do you want for food or what do you want? You're so tired that you can't even speak to your mother properly. And in fact, I would say one of the main reasons why uh, women actually end up arguing with their husbands. One of the main reasons, and I think I'll tell you actually, it's actually the husband's fault. It's the husband's fault. Let me explain. Women want emotional attention, and you are unable to give that emotional attention when you've been at work from seven o'clock until seven o'clock. You come home and you just want to sit there quietly. You haven't got time. You just haven't got the patience. And your wife's there wanting to speak to you, ask questions, have a conversation. She's missed you. It is completely okay for your wife to miss you and want to spend time with you and talk to you. But I know, my brothers, I know it's like super difficult and you don't want to do it because you're tired. That's not her fault, by the way. But I have to be honest, you working that job, you constantly doing what you've got, to, it, it is a factor. 
Now, I'm not saying that working a job is negative and, you know, you should never do it. There is a point where I think working a job for a few years is definitely healthy. I think where it's unhealthy is working from 22 until 66, which is 44 years, because that's the retirement age. I think that's very unhealthy. So when is it the right time to give up your job? When is the right point that, you know, you, you can start thinking about it? Look, number one, uh, let's talk about savings, because you should have some savings, um, you know, and, and I think it's important to give you some sort of a calculation. So you should have some savings. And I would say you should have at least four months of savings before you even think about quitting. Now, there is something here. Four months of savings, if you've got a really good business idea, if you really just want to uh, focus on that business and you think, you know what, I just need to give it a go. Then I think four months is a minimum. And I'll tell you why. Three months, I think you should give yourself anyway. And the fourth month, if you think about it, Let's say after three months, you're like, it's not going to work. You know, and by the way, three months isn't enough time on a business. But let's say you want to give it a shot. I think that's the minimum, right? The fourth month, you're going to work another job. You're going to get a job, whatever sort of thing. Let's say you work, you know, 20 days because you interviewed or uh, it takes a bit of time, right? And you're going to get paid at the end of the month. So at least four months, you should give yourself minimum before you think about quitting a job. Now, there are other factors. If you're making some money, right? The best route, and this is what I would say to you guys, the best route is for you to carry on working your job. You work your job, and in the evenings and in the weekend, you try to set up another business, you try to set up another side hustle. That is the best way. Because even if you can now do £500 or £1,000 extra a month, that is contributing to you building up savings, and it's contributing as a, there's light at the end of the tunnel. If you can make £1,000 a month on a hustle, on a business, Whilst working your job, imagine what you could do if you quit your job. I think that's what it's coming down to, right? So if you can get to your side hustle to make a thousand pound or fifteen hundred pound, I think fifteen hundred pound is that magical number, in my opinion. Now it will vary person to person because you guys might have a lot of responsibilities and you might be spending a lot of money. But if you can get your side hustle up to making fifteen hundred pound, I think that is the point where you can start saying, well, if I've got you know two three months of savings and I'm making fifteen hundred pound a month. Let's go for it. You know, I think that's a very, very good point where you can say to yourself, I can now take a bit of a risk and start something for myself. So let's go over some side businesses and side hustles that you guys can do. Uh, look, I'm trying to give you guys as much value as possible. And by the way, Golf Lift, you're going to see me wearing this top a lot. It's a new gym clothing brand that I've started. It's for the UAE. We're selling in the UK as well. Uh, we haven't launched yet. We're not even close to launching. We're probably about five to six weeks away. But if you guys like what I'm wearing and you think it'll be nice, then follow up a page called Golf Lift. I'll leave the link in the description. Golf Lift is the name of our brand. Uh, and inshallah, inshallah, we plan to make it big and give it, make it a way of opportunity to give back to the community. So hopefully, if you guys can support, that'd be amazing. Now, going into side hustles and businesses, I think learning a skill is crucial. If you guys have a skill and you can teach someone something or you can help someone with something, uh, that is somewhere where you can make a decent amount of money. And what I mean by that is, you know, if it's something down the CV route, cover letters, helping someone with interviews, interview prep, you know, even something like, you know, how to uh, use LinkedIn in a, in a proficient way to help you get a job, you don't have to charge a lot of money. In fact, something like that, create something like that where you can actually help people. Maybe you could even create a community on school. And I know a lot of people are doing that. By the way, I've got a free community on school. You can join. It's a mentorship thing. It's completely free. You can join that. I'll leave that in the description as well. And so, you know, you can even charge £9.99. Let's say you're giving some advice on something. Uh, if you can have 100 people join on £9.99, you're making a £1,000 a month, right? It's one way you can make some money. You can also do mentorship calls where people call in, you speak to people, 30, 40, 50 pound. Maybe you're an expert in your field in something and you can advise people on something. That's how I would get going. I think writing stuff on LinkedIn and building a presence on LinkedIn is very, very powerful. I think actually it's the way forward for the next, you know, two, three years. I think actually LinkedIn is the next TikTok uh, where TikTok was uh, maybe three or four years ago. I, I'm making a Gary V claim right now and saying that is the social media platform I believe where you can get a, a, a big, huge traction, to be fair. A second business idea, I would say, is the middleman business, which I've done a whole course on, you know, hour and a half, completely free. Uh, I think it's the last YouTube video, uh, so the video before this one that I did. And that's where you hire freelancers and you get those freelancers work in the West. You are the middleman, you take a cut, you pay them £300 a month, you charge seven, £800 a month. 
Uh, I'll keep it short because obviously I've made a whole hour and a half course complete video on exactly how you would go about that. Number three, LinkedIn pictures. What do I mean by that? Now, there's a website called Try It On. Uh, I know businesses that pay 60, 70 pounds for a picture, right? A LinkedIn professional picture. Try It On is an AI generated um, website where you can upload any sort of pictures of yourself. You could be sort of in the shower, right? It doesn't even matter. You upload those pictures and it makes a really professional picture. It makes about 100 pictures. Could you now uh, take that membership out, you know, pay 15, 17 pound, whatever it is, and actually charge 30 pound? 100% you can. I think it's a very interesting model. Uh, using AI, where you can help uh, use AI to help businesses in some way, I think is, an, again, an amazing side hustle and a business you can do on the side and the evenings, and it doesn't take a lot of time. Starting a recruitment company, again, it's something that I did when I was 25 years old. I'm now 32 years old. It's what I've done day in, day out. We actually teach people how to start their own recruitment company. And I would say eight out of 10 people start their recruitment companies part-time. So it's only fair that I say that starting a recruitment company is definitely something you can do part-time. Again, eight out of 10 people do do it part-time and see a lot of success. Bearing in mind one person, if one person gets a job at 35 or 30,000 pounds a year, and they're on 30,000 pounds a year, you get them a job uh, with a company, you get a finder's fee, which is what it's called when that person gets their job and they successfully start, you get a fee of at least 15% of that person's salary, which would mean something like four and a half thousand pounds. So if you find a person, you get them in a company and they get the job, you will make 15%, which is four and a half thousand pounds. If you could do that once or twice a month, uh, you're laughing to be honest with you, right? We actually teach how to start a recruitment company. Again, link in the description uh, if that's something that you guys want to pursue. And lastly, I would say create content. Uh, if you guys don't want to put your face on, if you don't want to make videos, LinkedIn again is powerful and you can monetize at a later point when you have people listening to what you're saying and doing what you're saying. A lot of people are doing at the moment, you know, uh, if I'm being honest, the new currency is views, the new currency is not necessarily the dollar or the pound, it's actually interaction and people interacting with your content. And I think the biggest reason you guys are failing right now and not getting out of the rat race, not getting out of the nine to five, it's nothing to do with, you know, necessarily the business model, it's actually because you're not taking action. You know there's a problem, you know you want to get out, you know you need to leave, but you're not taking action. I tell you something, take action because without you taking action, nothing will happen. And some of these business models, there's no cost. There's no cost with recruitment, there's no cost with uh, the middleman, you know, there's no cost with learning a skill and teaching people. Just start. What's the worst that can happen? You fail. But if you fail, it means you didn't make the money. It doesn't mean it cost you anything. It means just time. And you've definitely got your evenings and the weekends. Sometimes you need to go through a period of uh, working hard for three to six months so that you can sort your life out for the next three, four, five, maybe 10 years. And if that means you need to work and put in 12 hours a day for your family, for yourself to get out of that rat race, then you need to do it as soon as possible. So all I'm going to say to you is this, from tomorrow, right, from tomorrow, because this is the fastest route possible, you're going to start taking action to something. Take action towards something that you want to do. And day after, you're going to put in 10, 20% every single day. Forget about putting 100% for two weeks and then quitting. That's not going to work. It never works. 10, 20% every single day. One hour in the evenings every single day. And you'll be surprised where you are six months later. Do the maths. Find out exactly how much you need to live. Find out exactly how much you need to survive. Save that money up. Start making a little bit of money in terms of a side hustle. Use one of these side hustles. Come up with another side hustle. It's not a problem, but take action. Take action and start doing something towards what you want to do. And more importantly, stick at it every single day. 10, 20%, one hour every single day. Six months later, I want you to come back to this video and say it helped you. And I hope it helped you. Like the video, share with your family or friends. I'm trying to give you guys as much value as possible. We're going to have a course coming out on the YouTube channel. So make sure you subscribe, hopefully by Sunday, on mind control and fixing your mindset. A complete course on exactly how I make sure I get as much work done as possible and keep my mindset as positive as possible. So make sure you subscribe and keep an eye out on that video.